Hi there, and welcome to this time of prayer and meditation. You can follow along with the prayers and readings by clicking the link in the video description. Our risen Savior Jesus continues today and every day to deliver us from all our troubles. Let's begin with prayer. God, our Father, you work all things for the good of those who love you. Be not deaf to our cry for mercy, but rather turn our mourning into joy, that our hearts may sing your praise. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a little bit longer. That's all David had wanted, just a little bit longer. He had come to terms with the fact that he was not going to be the one to build God's temple in his holy city. But he could try to, to get as much ready as possible to plan and organize and put enough pieces in place so that his son Solomon would be able to hit the ground running as soon as he sat on the throne. But he wanted more time. He felt like he needed more time. He was getting towards the end of his days and still having to, to deal with palace intrigue as he secured the throne for Solomon. All complications in making sure arrangements were made for the temple. So what did he do? What are we to do when things are out of our hands and we remember with a jolt that our time on earth is limited? Pray. Pray for deliverance. Pray for help. And the Lord delivers. He gave David more time. He helps us in our troubles. Most importantly, he promises deliverance from the grave through the resurrection of Jesus. God's anger over our sinfulness meant that every day should have been a steady stream of tears from us. No matter what we did, we couldn't make up for our wrongs. But God's mercy is the answer to God's anger. Jesus is alive. We thank God forever for saving us from the grave and continuing to be our strength and our comfort all the days of our lives. We read Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you lifted me up. You did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. Lord, you snatched my life from the grave. You kept me alive, so I did not go down into the pit. Make music to the Lord, you his favored ones, and give thanks when you remember his holiness. For we spend a moment under his anger, but we enjoy a lifetime in his favor. In the evening, weeping comes to stay through the night, but in the morning there's rejoicing. But I, I said in my security, I will never be knocked down. Lord, in your favor, you made strength stand like a mountain for me. Then you hid your face. I was terrified. To you, O Lord, I call. To the Lord, I cry for mercy. What gain is there in shedding my blood and sending me down to destruction? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your truth? Lord, hear and be merciful to me. Lord, be a helper for me. You turned my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my whole being may make music to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I thank you forever. This is the word of our God. Having heard the word of our Lord, we confess Christian faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We sing the hymn, My Faith Looks Up to Thee. Dear friends in Christ, let us pray. Lord God, all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works come from you. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments. Defend us from all that we fear, that we may live in peace and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, and who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus sanctify us and keep us from all evil. May Christ drive all hurtful things far from us and purify both our souls and bodies. May Christ bind us to himself by the blood of of his cross. And my, may he also give to us the bond of peace abounding in our hearts. Amen. Thanks for watching.